The Chicago Engineers Foundation was founded in 1963 and later embraced in its new home, the Union League Club of Chicago. The goal of the Chicago Engineers Foundation is to financially reward students in Chicago who will pursue or who are pursuing careers in the field of engineering. Engineering students who meet certain criteria receive financial assistance, namely an incentive award toward a portion of the cost of their college studies. The Chicago Engineers Foundation is a cornerstone of what the Union League Club of Chicago represents through our collective commitment to community and country. I'm Nancy Ross. I am president of the board of directors for the Chicago Engineers Foundation. I've been involved with the Engineers Foundation since 2010. Uh, I became interested in being involved when I realized their education purpose in promoting engineering as a course of study. Hi, my name is Kelly Dugan. Engineering is taking your math and science skills and applying it to real world problems. It's being innovative. It's being creative in your thinking. It's questioning what already exists. It's going out there and asking, how can I make this better? How can I make things more energy efficient? Engineering is our future. The uh, Engineers Foundation of the Union League Club is one of the three foundations supported by Union League Club members and also by the general public. Its purpose is to promote the study of engineering. Uh, the quick way to say it is, its purpose is to help create engineers, because America needs engineers. Uh, we look at students in the Chicago, in the city of Chicago, or who go to high school in the city of Chicago, because those are students that may not know that engineering is a field of study available for them. So we provide support through uh, a monetary award, to uh, students studying engineering in college, and we also look to educate and inform Chicago high school and middle school students about engineering as a career. Hi, I'm Rich Beam. I'm a patent attorney in Chicago, and I'm a member of the Chicago Engineers Foundation Board. I'm proud to be a part of Chicago Engineers Foundation because of what we do for engineering in the city of Chicago and what we do for Chicago high school students graduating from Chicago high schools and going on to study engineering in schools all across the Midwest and across the United States. Engineering is a big part of the future of our country. Not everybody can do engineering, but many of our students graduating from Chicago high schools have that capability and that drive, and we're glad to assist them in that work. My clients are engineers. They're inventors, uh, and it's very pleasing to be a part of the progress of the United States, a progress in the city of Chicago and in Chicago high schools. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kareem Hetherington. I'm a 19-year-old sophomore attending the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, where I study electrical engineering. This is my second consecutive year receiving an award, and for that, I'm very grateful. First off, I knew I had to go above and beyond. I had to do more than what's required, and you have to keep that mentality throughout college because it really is hard. So in high school, where well, you typically only have to take three or four years of math, I took five years of math, which included AP Calculus, which helped me out a great deal in my first year getting through those college-level calculus classes. Additionally, I took three other AP classes, which helped me out. And also, I volunteered at the Museum of Science and Industry um, for a year and a half, almost every Saturday as a science achiever. And I knew that this would make me look distinguished in the eyes of the admissions people and give me a better chance to get accepted. So once again, thank you, Chicago Engineers Foundation. My name is Patty Rudell. I'm uh, on the board of the Chicago Engineers Foundation. The reason I joined the, the board, and frankly, a large reason why I joined the Union, Union League Club, was because I could become more involved in helping engineers from the city of Chicago to realize their dreams. I think it's fantastic that the Union League Club supports this philanthropic organization. It's so important that as a country, as the United States of America, frankly, that we help to drive the future competitiveness of ourselves. And a, a large way in which we've done that over the past 50 years has frankly been through engineering, through technology, through innovation. And our success to be able to do that is very much dependent on how we support the future engineers of America. I'm the founder and principal of McGuire Engineers Incorporated, a Chicago-based engineering company that 
is involved in building systems, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, and sprinkler. Uh, I founded the company in 1986, and uh, we love Chicago. Hi, I'm Curtis Linder, and my involvement here with the Chicago Engineers Foundation is really through uh, my family. My father was an engineer, a mechanical engineer, for 50 years. He uh, worked in, in the refinery business, and he also uh, took on many side jobs as a draftsman, uh, which is what he was called back in the day, in the 50s, 60s, and even into the 80s. Um, and when my dad passed away, we thought, uh, as a family, we thought, what a great way to honor his uh, passion for engineering. He truly loved the field. He loves engineers. And we just thought this is a great way for us to monetarily support engineering students who are on their way to careers in engineers, coming from um, high schools here in Chicago and being uh, a part of uh, fulfilling his uh, uh, passion and uh, legacy in the engineering field. There were many people who inspired me along the way. Uh, the main person that inspired me in engineering was my dad. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away uh, when I was young. He realized I, I like math and science, and he thought maybe I should pursue civil engineering uh, to make a design and, and work on roadways and structures. And uh, right now, I'm working in metro engineering and hopefully uh, making him proud. My name is Eric Kempel. Uh, I'm a former recipient of the CEF award. I received it in 1996 when I graduated from Marist High School in Chicago. Uh, I went on to Cornell University and got a bachelor's and master's degree of uh, engineering uh, in civil engineering, focusing on transportation systems as well as a minor in urban planning. Right now I work for a firm called Cambridge Systematics where I do transportation planning and policy work. My name is Zachary Stewart and I'm a junior at Stanford University studying mechanical engineering. My father was my inspiration to go into engineering. When my grandfather bought me a 1 8 scale Ferrari Enzo remote control car kit, my father and I put it together. Eventually I broke an axle while driving it, so my father tried to find a replacement part. When he couldn't find it, he turned the part on a lathe that worked for me. He brought it home and we put it back together and it worked perfectly. I always remember that because it showed me the possibilities of engineering when you put your mind to building something. My name is Jenny Wing and I graduated from Northside College Prep High School in Chicago. I'll be going to Yale University in the fall to study engineering. I'm very grateful to the Chicago Engineering Foundation for encouraging me to pursue this field. Ever since I was a child, I've always been fascinated by the creation of mechanical systems, whether it be the construction of paper airplanes for launch from high altitudes or contraptions to guide marbles through a series of tunnels. Even when using a common household item, such as a bicycle or a sprinkler, I am always intrigued by its logic, why it is able to extend human capabilities and make our lives easier. With an eye towards real-world applications, engineering is a practical discipline that bridges math and scientific theories with people's actual needs, and that is why I've chosen it as my passion. I see the future of the Foundation as being almost unlimited. Right now, engineering professionals are very fragmented. There's a transportation engineering society, there's a Hispanic engineering society, there's a society of women engineers, there's fire protection engineers, and all of them are interested in promoting science, technology, engineering, and math education, STEM education. I really see the Engineers Foundation as having the potential to be a facilitator of partnerships with these organizations and other organizations that are promoting STEM education.